is Dr. Joni Ye of Beta Mama Book Break. I usually read books to show parents how to interactively read with their kids, but inspired by the Obamas reading books to kids to give parents a break, I am going to do the same thing and shift my focus from showing parents how to read interactively to their kids to reading to kids themselves. As a mom of three, I know how much of a struggle it can be um, during this pandemic. So, you know, in, um, in the spirit of trying to help each other out, um, here we go, reading The Perfect Picnic Spot. It's one of my favorites. I love those flap books and seeing what surprises lie underneath the flaps. So, here we go. Pooh and Eeyore and Rue were looking for the perfect picnic spot. That wall would do very nicely, said Pooh. Stand back, falling rocks, a voice warned. Hmm, what's underneath that flap? It's a little worn out, a little ripped, that's okay. It's a gopher! Or a beaver, maybe a beaver, I'm not sure. <laughs> but it's drilling through the rocks. I don't suppose you'd want to eat my thistle patch, sighed Eeyore. No one ever does. Yes, they do, cried Rue. Look, what animals in the thistle patch? A porcupine. Porcupine is enjoying Eeyore's thistle patch. Okay, well that's taken. Pooh was inspecting Eeyore's hay pile when he was startled by a loud, achoo! Bless you, said Pooh, hoping that was the proper thing to say to a sneezing hay pile. Who's in that hay pile? A chipmunk. A chipmunk is hiding in that hay pile. It's kind of cozy, but I guess we can't go there. The friends searched some more. This cave would be cool and shady, Pooh said. Then again, it might be too dark. What do you think? Do you think you'd want a picnic in a cave? Well, it's too crowded, Eeyore remarked. Hmm, what does Eeyore see in the cave? What do you think is gonna be in the cave? Bats, maybe? No, raccoons are in here. How many raccoons do you see? One, two, three. Three raccoons. It is too crowded. All right, so let's move on. Up ahead was Rabbit's house. Yum, yum, exclaimed Pooh. Let's picnic there. Oh no, Rabbit said when he saw Pooh coming. That bear always eats my honey. So what do you think is in this flap? We already read it, right? It's rabbit. What's rabbit's expression? Do you think rabbit is happy to see Pooh? Do you think rabbit is feeling bored and unimpressed to see Pooh? Do you think rabbit is sad? Or do you think Rabbit is grumpy to see Pooh? Ugh, not so happy, right? Okay. Owl's picnic would make a very good place for, uh, Owl's house would make a very good place for a picnic, said Pooh. It's awfully cozy inside. What do you think makes a house cozy? Do you have a special blanket on your bed that makes it super cozy or a stuffed animal? Um, let's find out in, um, in Owl's house. So Pooh knocked on the door. Let's see what happens next. No one answered the door. I'm not surprised, said Eeyore sadly as he and Rue waited below. Let's turn and find out. Owl is sleeping in his rocking chair. The rocking chair makes Owl's house cozy. I'm hungry, Pooh, said Rue impatiently. May we have our lunch in that hollow log? From what I can see, that spot is already taken, answered Pooh. What do you think is taking up that space in the log? A frog? A fly on the frog? On the log? Maybe not. This log's not on the bottom of the lake, right? Um, do you think it's an elephant? Do you think an elephant can fit in that log? Probably not, right? An elephant's huge. So what do you think? A skunk. 
A skunk is already in that log, so we can't picnic there. Are you getting hungry? I am. We could take a rug from my house and spread the food out on that volunteer group. No, you couldn't, came a firm but gentle reply. Who said that? Who said they can't take the rugs and spread it out on the grass? Kenga! Rue's mommy! She just cleaned them, of course, sillies. We can't take clean rugs, right? Maybe a blanket, maybe, but not the rugs. At last, the perfect picnic spot, announced Pooh happily. Isn't this your house, asked Pooh. So it is, said the bear, very little brain, opening his basket, and it's a good thing too. Oh, we're back at Pooh's house, and it's the perfect place of the picnic spot. And let's see what's in the basket. What do you think is in the basket? Oh, nothing's in the basket. Pooh left all the food at home. It's a good thing they came back, right? Yum. Looks like they've got some, what do you see? What kind of food do you see? Watermelon, honey, sandwiches. What's your favorite food? And I also want to ask you, aside from your favorite food, what new food have you tried? Make sure you're trying lots of new foods. And even if you don't really like the food, if mommy or daddy offers you the food, just just take a couple bites, right? Just try, just try. You might like it. I promise you might like it one day. So just try to take a couple bites of that healthy food, okay? I hope you find a perfect spot to try out some healthy food in your home and enjoyed this story with me. Bye.